Hey guys, the Extended Project Qualification or EPQ is an absolutely fantastic thing to make you stand out. Because when we're thinking about personal statements, when we're thinking about university applications, loads of people are going to have great grades. Loads of people are going to be able to recite the A-level syllabus back perfectly and get great grades. But the Extended Project Qualification is something that lets you stand out, be original, be unique, makes your personal statement stand out from the massive, massive piles of personal statements that the um, university admissions tutor has to go through. And what we want is for your personal statement, for your UCAS application form to go into the yes pile and not be so boring that it goes straight into the no pile. The EPQ is half an A-level. It's the level three qualification and you can get UCAS points. It's worth up to 28 UCAS points. So again, loads of other people that are gonna have the same predicted grades. This is another way of kind of like topping things up. You're getting a few extra UCAS points if that's what your university entrance requirements are based on. Universities really, really like it for two reasons. It teaches you excellent, excellent skills. You have to think up the idea yourself, you have to research it yourself, plan it yourself, present it yourself. So we're talking about time management, we're talking about organisation, we're talking about presentation skills, writing skills, and universities love this. It gives you knowledge above and beyond the A-levels, it lets you show enthusiasm for something, it lets you be really, really unique. So it's a fantastic way of making you stand out. All of the skills that it covers are skills that you need at university, but we don't necessarily teach you in any other way at school. So what is the EPQ? It is basically like a long research project. It can be on nearly any topic that you want it to be on. And the format that you present it in can be really, really broad. There is a written component, like you have to keep a log of what you were doing. Um, but you can submit a written report or you can submit like something you've made so like a bridge or something a model of a bridge or like um, an app a computer game or it can be a project or an event that you put on like a charity event or a fashion show it is all done by you it is not directed by your teachers so you have loads and loads and loads of free reign now if there's something you are really really interested in this is a fantastic way to get a bit of extra credit for doing stuff that maybe you were doing already. If you don't have something you're interested in, this is a fantastic way to develop something you're interested in, because I'm always nagging you about finding a passion, something that you can talk about in your university interviews or your application forms. For example, if you want to apply for engineering, well, there isn't an engineering A-level, so you can't really show off that way. The EPQ will let you show off how much you love engineering. You could pick um, a bridge or a building or a car or something, research it really, really well, perhaps build a scale model of it, perhaps build a racing car and enter that into a competition. Um, if you want to go into medicine or nursing, this is a fantastic way of researching thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly in depth something. Um, really, really going into the background or maybe a technique or history. If you want to go into journalism, this is a fantastic way of showing off your writing skills. Or if you want to go into like event management or fashion, you can put on a fashion show. This would be a fantastic way of showcasing your skills, showcasing what you're good at and getting UCAS points. Um, if you're interested in science, you can research the history of something, the implications of something. You can even try and like make a compound in the lab or do like a mini research project with um, flies or little worms. Loads and loads of this stuff is really, really doable. And seriously, I know doing your own research project may seem intimidating, but if one of my A-level students came to me and said, Miss, I want to do like an hour a week after school and I want to do it on this, I would absolutely love it if they came and said that to me. Um, so your teachers are going to be really, really supportive because what we want are students that are interested and engaged and doing stuff. So the EPQ is really, really worth doing um, because of the skills, universities love it, UCAS points and it gives you something that makes you stand out.